Hello everyone, thank you again for joining. This is yet another video from Resolutions Design. Uh, this video we're going to talk about how to set up tabs in my product page. It's a beginner's tutorial. As always mentioned before, uh, all of you guys that are brand new watching this, if you want more topics on this, please subscribe and smash that like button. It is very, very much appreciative. That's how I'm able to create more and more content and be consistent. Um, previously, before I was just throwing like maybe one video a month or whatever, but now I'm realizing that a lot of people are commenting and therefore I'm trying to do a schedule where I'm posting videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, so hopefully if you appreciate this type of content, let me know in the comments let me know to keep pushing right and then I'll go ahead and keep pushing right but in order to do that please subscribe and also uh, press the like button let's get right to it okay so we're gonna start off with the coffee shop famous coffee shop right and the theme that we're gonna talk about is the theme that I've been doing tons and tons of tutorials on and it is called turbo so I'm gonna leave the link in the description Turbo, again, it's the primary reason as towards why I'm constantly making these videos uh, because we use it for a lot of our websites. We use it for a lot of developments. It just solves a lot of things. And so here, yet again, another great feature from Turbo. Let's get right into the tab system, okay? So tabs. What I'm going to do first is that I'm going to open a separate tab on my browser. Now this tab, it's from Out of the Sandbox. The folks that actually developed this theme from Out of the Sandbox created this link here. And we're going to come back to explaining what this is about in a second. Okay, so in products, we're going to go with our main example. We're gonna, okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go right here and copy that. We're going to put this content right here. Okay. We're going to call this instead of tab one, we're going to call it description. Tab number two, we're going to call it shipping. Tab number three. Tab number three, just to show you some tricks, right? Um, we're going to say video. Okay. And right here, we just want to use some more generic terms, right? So shipping, especially if you guys are doing things like uh, AliExpress or anything like that, just make it very clear as far as the expectations when it comes to shipping. Something like that. And then the third one is video. Now this is very interesting because with video, let's see, if we go to YouTube, right? If we go to you, if we go to YouTube and we just search anything, we just search something like, I don't know, coffee. Uh, coffee commercial. Coffee mug commercial. Okay, red coffee mug commercial I've seen on TV. This is just to grab an example, right? So we're gonna go right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to see if we could grab a URL, right? A URL embed code. So if I click on share uh, and I click on embed, right? We're gonna get this code here. So let's go ahead and grab this code, copy it, and let's go ahead here to video and paste that there. Okay, just to see how that turns out. Now, one of the last steps is you don't stop here. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you click on where it says description. Click on where it says description so that when the user sees this for the first time, this tab is set to default. Okay, because if you leave it here, then every time people click on your product, they're gonna see the video first unless that's what you want it to be, right? But right here, make sure that it is always set to description. Once you do that, the next step is, let's click on this button that's called get code, right here. We're gonna click on this, and we're gonna see this long code. Over here down at the bottom, you're gonna click where it says copy to clipboard. Once you do that, let's go back into 
our product and what we're going to do is we're going to delete this we're going to delete that right there and then what we're going to do is that we're going to click on this html show html you're going to click on this and you'll know when you're on html when this is all blank and only and you could only see this that's when you click inside of this box right here and press paste once you press paste press save and once you save, let's go ahead and preview our product. And there we have it. We have a description tab, we have a shipping tab, and we have a video tab. You click on right here for shipping, and then you click on right here for the video. That's how you do it. That's how it gets done. Thank you guys for watching once again. If you really appreciate videos like this, the only thing that I ask for is please press that subscribe and like button. And if you have any more questions on things that you want to learn using Turbo, uh, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think. Or if there's other tips and tricks that you want to learn, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video for you. Thank you very much for watching.